Imagine a time when power shifted like the tides, when the rule of kings gave way to the whispers of the wealthy few. Envision a world where idleness could cost you your life. Where the line between justice and cruelty blurred beyond recognition. This was the world of ancient Athens. Could a set of unyielding laws carved in stone be the answer? Or was Athens forever fated to be a city divided, on the edge of both brilliance and collapse? Imagine the landscape of ancient Greece in the 7th century BC, not as a unified nation but a collection of independent city-states. From the Aegean islands to the rugged mainland, each city-state was a unique political experiment. Traditional monarchies were giving way to new power structures, aristocracies, oligarchies, and sometimes even tyrannies. Athens, an important city-state in mainland Greece, followed this trend. Its monarchy had weakened, and power became concentrated in the hands of an aristocratic council, an oligarchy. The leaders, called archons, held positions governing various aspects of life. However, this shared rule failed to bring stability, as internal conflicts and social unrest persisted. Athenians craved more than just unwritten traditions, they needed a clear, codified system of laws. The responsibility for crafting this legal code fell to Draco, a respected Athenian statesman. His task was not to create entirely new laws, but to formalize the existing customs and traditions into an indisputable written record. This monumental endeavor, completed in 621 BC, represented a pivotal point in Athenian history. Draco's laws were undeniably harsh. It wasn't the nature of the crimes themselves that were unusual, but the extreme punishments associated with them. Even minor offenses could carry the sentence of death, giving rise to the term draconian, a word forever linked with excessive severity. While Draco's laws instilled a degree of order based on fear, they failed to address the underlying social tensions. The economic inequality between the wealthy elite and the common people remained unresolved. Social unrest simmered under the surface, and Athens stood on the brink of further upheaval. Recognizing the volatile situation, Solon emerged as a prominent figure. A respected magistrate with a reputation for wisdom and fairness, Solon sought to revise Draco's harsh laws and pursue a path toward greater justice. His reforms impacted all facets of Athenian life, seeking to balance economic disparities and bring a semblance of order to society. Solon's efforts, though well-intentioned, faced resistance. His reforms were seen as too radical by the wealthy elite, and not far-reaching enough for the common people who sought more fundamental change. The delicate balance Solon attempted to strike faltered, and lingering resentments revealed that a just Athenian society remained an elusive goal. Athens once again descended into a cycle of power struggles and division. The experiment with written laws and reform, despite its noble intentions, appeared to have stalled. Was Athenian society destined for perpetual conflict, or would a new and transformative approach to governance ultimately emerge? History rarely gives us easy answers, and the story of Athens is no different. Its struggles with law, power, and justice echo through the centuries. If this journey into the ancient world has captured your imagination, do like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our explorations of the past. Let us know in the comments what other historical mysteries you'd like to unravel.